Yeah, I mean, I, I think if you if you walk the halls of this place, you're gonna find a ton of stories that are similar to mine, just in terms of, I had the ColecoVision growing up, I had the NES growing up, uh, I was the kid who cried and broke my controller playing Rygar because I was so frustrated by how difficult that game was. And so, it, I always loved games and I played and owned every system you could think of. Um, and it was one of those things where I didn't ever consciously get into games until things sort of presented themselves in the way that I had a job that I absolutely hated. Uh, it was a non-game job uh, and I just came home one night frustrated and my wife said, you need to do something you actually are passionate about and that you actually enjoy. Find something you like and games was one of those things I had always done and it had always been a part of my life. Uh, and so I really, you know, I didn't know how to approach getting into the industry, so I just started trying to find one ads, looking for places that were hiring, and I found an ad for a company that people know pretty well. It's no longer around, but it was called Sierra Online, uh, and I just answered a job ad and became a phone tech support operator for them. Uh, and so people would call and say, hey, your game broke my PC, and I would help them fix it. Uh, and that was kind of my foot in the door. That's how I got in. So how I actually got into Microsoft was uh, Sierra eventually, uh, they were bought out, liquidated and kind of went away and same thing, I just took the, the knowledge that I had. By that time I had sort of transitioned at Sierra, uh, I had taken on some new challenges and things. So I used that experience and got a job testing games uh, with Xbox. Uh, and as I was testing games and as I was kind of working in that capacity, I had always had this uh, I've always been an artist, I've always drawn, I've always had something going on art related and so I actually reached out to an art director here at Microsoft and just said, listen, I've been in test for a while, how do I make the transition over to the art side of things? And we worked together on a plan, I started going to night classes uh, and the night classes were pretty intense, it was about three years of night classes so I would get off from work here as a tester, I would drive over to Seattle. I would take art classes there, take animation classes, all that kind of stuff. And then I would come home, get up early the next morning and do it all over again. And I did that for three years straight. But at the end of the three years with the guidance uh, and the help of that art director, uh, I had the knowledge that I needed. I applied for a job as an animator and then I've slowly worked my way up through the art ranks until I'm at my current position. That's crazy, dude. Three years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was three years of You're like just I, doing it, right? Yeah. You're doing both. It's yeah. Same time. I, I remember, I mean, I was so tired at one point that I actually I stopped at a gas station to get gas one night on the way home and pulled in, paid for the gas, got out in my car and drove away and got on the freeway and realized I hadn't put any of the gas in the car. Uh, <laughs> Wait, where'd the gas go? I didn't ever pump it. Oh, you I went in and paid for it. I came back, got in the car, and never actually put the handle in the car and just drove away. And yeah, so it was definitely, it was a grueling three years, but it yeah. paid off.